Hello and welcome to Flangu. My name is Charles and over the next several videos I'm going to be your guide showing you how Flangu works and where all of the features are and showing you just how to navigate through Flangu so that you can find everything that you need quickly and easily. Before we get started, I just want to explain really quick how these videos are set up so that you can get the most out of these tutorials. First, every video is relatively short and focuses on one very specific feature or very specific topic. This means that you don't have to watch all of these videos and you certainly don't have to watch them all in order. You can go through the list and just select the ones that are relevant to what you need to know at that time. If there is a feature or something in your Flangu account that you don't understand and you can't find Find a tutorial on. There are other ways that you can reach out for help. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that soon. And I'm also going to create a separate video that is all about support so that you can find exactly the help that you need when you need it most. With that out of the way, welcome to the first video on how to navigate a book. When you first log into Flangu, you're going to be brought to a dashboard like this, where all of the books in your account are on display for you. Here are all of my pre-level 1s, my level 1s, and I can scroll down. Here are my level 2s and my level 3 and up. Beyond that, we have all of our shorticles, which are short stories or short articles. Uh, we have our top 5 teacher favorites, and those are ranked according to the books that you use the most. And I'll get more into that later. And then we have books separated by category. So here are all of our comprehensible input titles, our biographies, real life stories, short stories, stories based on comedy and humor, stories based around holidays and special days, and our bizarre and creepy stories. You'll notice that the look and feel of this is very reminiscent of any sort of streaming service you've ever used. So in like Netflix or, or Disney Plus, uh, it's going to look very, very familiar. And that goes the same for all of your readers, your students, when they log into this they're going to know exactly what to do uh, as soon as they get here. We did that so that we could eliminate as much of the learning curve as possible. To navigate through your books, you simply click on the little arrows to the left and right, and that'll show you more titles in that level. Here, if I click, you'll see we have more titles for pre-level one, our titles for level one, level two, and etc. I'm going to go ahead and pick a book. As soon as I click into a book, I am brought to a summary page that gives me a quick synopsis of what this story is about, as well as some information about this book. So here I know this is a pre-level one. I can see the total unique word count is 108 out of a total number of words, 686. And I can see my tenses are in the present tense. Uh, I also have a couple other options. I can click down on my words to know, and that's going to give me a Microsoft Word document with all of my vocabulary words. Uh, I can click into my student data. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to get into that in another video. And if I'm ready to start reading, I simply click start reading. Before I start reading, though, I wanted to show you this. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll see here, because I clicked into a pre-level one title, I am presented with other titles that are also in pre-level one in case I want to jump around to a different book. Simply click and I'm taken to those books. If I've clicked into a book but I realize, oh shoot, I don't want to be in pre-level one, I actually meant to click on level one, you simply click the little button right up here that says back. That's going to take you back to the main menu and now we can simply scroll down to level one and select a book from here. And you'll notice the look and feel is exactly the same. As soon as I click into a book, I'm brought to my summary page. Here's information about it. Uh, as well as tags for that book. Here are my words to know, and I can start reading, as well as showing me all of the other books that are in the same level. Let's go ahead and click on Start Reading. This particular book has a pre-reading that's in English, so I can learn a little bit more about the subject matter before the story begins. And then I just scroll down to this little arrow here, and that's how I can move between chapters. Click the button, and that will take me to Chapter 1. Now that we're in Chapter 1 and we're at the beginning of the story, we have some new options. One of them is you'll notice some of these underlined words. When I hold my mouse over it, it's going to give me translations for those words. These are all of my vocab words. Also, I have this new bar that has appeared along the bottom of my screen. This is for the audio for the book. Each of the books has audio from native speakers. To play the audio, I simply click the play button. La Tomatina, level one, by Sonia Dolores, Estrada Morales. Un tomatazo en mi brazo. Un tomatazo en mi pierna. Pressing the button again will pause the audio. Uh, I can see here the time for that audio. So this is a six minute clip. 
so far it's played 16 seconds of it. I can control the audio here as well as controlling the audio on my computer, of course. And then down here, I can control the speed of the narration. So I can slow that narration down if I'm having trouble understanding it, uh, or I can speed it up. Puedo evitar los tomatazos. Yo sé que no puedo evitar los tomatazos. The audio just covers the chapter that I'm on. I scroll down to the bottom. Here are my arrows so that I can move on to the next chapter or back up to the previous chapter. Now, aside from using the arrows to move throughout a chapter, you can also click up here in the top corner. You'll see these three little bars. That will bring up your chapter navigation menu. Using this, I can click around to any chapter I need to get to. Simply by clicking on it and it'll take me straight there. When you're ready to head back to your main menu, simply click on the Flangu logo in the corner and that will bring you back to your main menu. You can see here the story that you've started reading as I make my way through more and more stories. Uh, it's going to continue to fill up my continue reading section so that I can quickly find the stories that I was engaged in and go right back to them. That covers the basics for how to navigate a book in Flangu. I hope this information was helpful. Remember, you can always reach out to us by simply emailing flangu at teachersdiscovery.com or you can use the support link that's located in your Flangu account. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Flangu.com